Hey, how's it going, everybody? So I wanted to briefly describe how, for Ubuntu users, how to install the app image launcher, and then how to get going with the Pling Store application discovery. And you could also use it to customize your desktop environment. So if you're using GNOME or you're using Plasma, I believe you can use either one of those and you can get running with uh, the Pling Store have custom icons, for example, installed for you. So let's do that right now. So in order to get up and running, if you're on Ubuntu 19.04 and later, then you should install this PPA. The PPA installs the app image launcher with the required libraries that it needs. So I'll put this in the description, but this is the PPA that you need. And you just update that, you install that, and you're off. So just run those two commands and then you, you say sudo app image uh, sudo apt install app image launcher. So I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but 260%, so I hope so. So the app image launcher, this is the package that you're gonna install. That's the for my uh, version of Ubuntu, this is the, the package I'm installing. It's I'm pretty sure it's the same for all the different uh, versions. And then once you install that, you can go to plingstore.com. You can click download the app. And then once you click download the app, it should take you to the application page. And then you can click download. And then you just download the app image. And if you install the app image launcher, it'll have a little pop-up that shows up and, and asks you, um, do you want to be asked every single time you click on an app image? Do you want to integrate the app image? You can click yes or no. You can change it later too in the settings. But if you click no, every time you click on an app image, it'll automatically integrate it and then you're good to go. And so the only little small difference that I've noticed with that is once you run it, you can't add it to the, the favorites from your, your dock or your panel or whatever. You have to actually go into the GNOME all applications panel and then add it to favorites in there. And then once you launch it from your favorites, it'll show up like it should in your doc. So that's the only small caveat there. Um, but everything else seems to work. I've got the CPU X working. Um, this is an app image. I got Bitwarden working. That's an app image. And now uh, I know Bitwarden automatically updates all on its own and I don't even have to worry about it. I think CPU X does as well. Um, because again, it's, it's one of those pieces of code that was included in app image. They, so any app uh, image can automatically do that. Or you can use Zap, or you can use uh, the Pling Store. So for the Pling Store, um, they have a whole bunch of different different things that you can get in, into. So they have app add-ons, they have apps, they have art, they have you know just a ton of stuff, wallpapers. Um, but if we just do a quick search here, we can do GNOME icons, Let's see what we find. So for, so here's some of the, the GNOME icons. And obviously you're gonna have to inspect each and every one of these to see if it's gonna be valid for your operating system. Right now I'm on Ubuntu 2104. That's using GNOME 3.38. So I'm still on GNOME 3. So this one probably is gonna work for me if I wanted to install it, I could pretty easily do it. So as you can see here, showing you know a nice image of it working. It's got ratings. It shows you the files that you are going to be getting in tar, and Plink shouldn't be able to handle uh, installing it in the correct location. So, I mean, obviously, you know you have to test some of the stuff out. You have to be kind of smart about it. Not everything's going to work perfectly. Um, it's not going to hold your hand, um, but it should work pretty well. So that's all I wanted to show for Ubuntu users. This is how you get going. This is how you can use app images in your system, have it automatically integrated, and also have the Pling store. So yeah, take it easy.